Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So lots of you guys asked me about a tutorial on how to publish a game on Google Play Store. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of publishing a game on Google Play Store. So we are going to build this game, then I'm gonna show you how to publish it using your account. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have this Unity project and it's a stackball game. It's a very popular one. First of all, we need to build it. I've already created a video about building a game to Android. Make sure to check it out. Or you could just go to Unity Hub, then under installs, make sure to add the modules using add modules. And as you can see, I've already installed the Android build support as well as the Android SDK, NDK and the OpenJDK. And once you have done that, you will be able to build the game but first of all I'm gonna change some settings and to do that we need to go to file build settings then make sure that the Android platform is selected and let's go to the player settings so here you could change few settings like the company name so I'm gonna change it to my own then you could change the name of your game I've called it stackball 3d we have the version so this is the first one it's 0.1 then let's go ahead and select an icon then let's go under resolution and presentation here you could change the orientation of your game so this is a portrait mode game that's why I'm going to uncheck the landscape options then under the splash image you could customize it we have this preview button you could also add your logo as well but I'm gonna leave it as default then under the other settings Make sure to uh, select the RM64 bit, but I can't check it. That's because we have the scripting backend is set to mono. Make sure to change it to this one, IL2CPP. If you select that, you will be able to check the RM64 bit. And finally, let's go all the way down to the publish settings. And here we are going to sign our game using a key store, or you will not be able to publish it on Google Play Store. And to do that, it's very simple. Just hit this key store manager and let's create a new key store using this create new and we need to save it in a dedicated location. For me, I'm gonna put it under this stackball 3D files in which I'm putting all of the needed files for publishing the game and let's hit save. Then we need to create a password. Make sure to remember that or you will not be able to change your project later on. So I'm gonna choose a password. And here make sure to fill these, for example the alias, then we need to set a password, so I'm gonna use the same one. You don't need to fill all of these, I will just use a country code, for me I'm in Tunisia. Then let's hit add key, and here Unity is asking you to use this key store for your project, so let's hit yes. So later on you will not be able to change your project unless you put the right password. So make sure to remember that. Now we can build the game. And to do that, let's go back to the build settings. You could always go to the build settings using file, build settings, and let's build our game. But first of all, make sure to check this build app bundle. Now the Google Play Store is using the app bundle file. So make sure to check that. And let's hit build. Then I'm gonna put it under my stackball 3D files. And let's give it a name. So let's call it stackball game and let's hit save. Now it will take a little bit of time to build the app bundle file that we are going to use to publish the game on Google Play Store. Make sure to open the internet connection to build the game properly. And once the build is completed, make sure to install the game on your phone so that you can take some screenshots and test the game. So we are going to need few screenshots. I've already added these to my folder. I have seven screenshots. Also, you will need an icon that has these dimensions, 512 by 512. And you will need a big one. So I have this image, which is 1024 by 500. I've actually added two screenshots and a title in the middle. Also, you will need a description. So here I have the game name, which is Stackball 3D. We have a short description and a long one and that's all what you need to publish the game. 
and of course the app bundle file so we are going to upload this file and add all of the details and to do that we need to open up the google play console developer account so let's open up a browser and let's search for google play console and it's the first link then let's click on this button and they have this developer account let's click on it and here i have some of my games so let's create a new one using this create app button first of all we need to give it a name so i'm gonna call it stackball 3d the language is english and it's a free game so let's select it game then free and make sure to confirm these then let's create the app using this button then you will be directed to the dashboard here you could set up your game so under set up your app we have all of the tasks so you need to finish all of these and let's start with the first one which is the app access let's click on it for me all of the functionality is available without a special access then let's save and once you complete the first task you need to go back to the dashboard and let's go to the next one which is the content rating I'm gonna start the questionnaire so first of all I'm gonna fill the email and let's select a category so this is a game and let's hit next then we have some questions so the game doesn't contain a violence so I'm gonna hit no no fear and most of them are no for me the game is not sharing the user's current physical location so I'm gonna hit no it doesn't allow users to purchase digital goods once you are done make sure to save and let's hit next then submit and now we've successfully completed this task let's go back to the dashboard and continue to the next one which is the target audience but first of all we need to complete the ads section so let's click on this link for me my game doesn't contain ads so i'm gonna select this option and let's hit save then let's go back to the other task and under here you need to select the ages so for me I'm gonna select all of these and you can't select these options unless you add a privacy policy so let's leave it like that and let's hit next then I'm gonna select it yes because my game appealed to children then let's hit next and save and let's go back to the dashboard and select news apps so my game is not a news app so I'm gonna select it now and let's save and let's go back to the dashboard again so we need to select an app category and provide contact details let's select this option of course I'm publishing a game and let's select a category it's a casual game it's called stackball 3d you could also add some tags and you need to provide an email optionally you could add a phone number or a website and let's hit save then we have only one task which is the store listing and here we are going to add the main details of the game like the name of the game which is stackball 3d you need to provide a short description so i'm gonna copy this one and you will need to add a full description which is longer then let's go down here under graphics we need to provide the app icon so i'm gonna upload the app icon that i have which is under my stackball 3d files and let's select it then let's go down and let's upload the 1024 by 500 image which is the bigger one also you could add a video for your game but it's not required and let's add some screenshots so I'm gonna upload all of these then you need to upload some screenshots on a tablet so I'm gonna use the same images and the same thing down here and once you have done that we can hit save and finally we need to create a release for the game so let's go back to the dashboard and to do that we need to go under this section and let's hit this create new release then hit this button then let's hit continue and let's upload the app bundle file using this upload button and let's select the file then open 
and once you upload the game it will automatically detect the app bundle file and the other settings like the version the api level and the release name as well and down here we can change the release notes for example let's write first commit then let's hit save and finally you just need to put your game under review by selecting this button review release then click on this start rollout button then roll out and there you go now our game is under review you could go to all apps and as you can see we have a review now it's gonna take about one or two days to be published so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to smash that subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you get notified with my videos and i will see you in the next one